Welcome to the Cuyahoga Community College Pre-Algebra MOOC. In this video, I will show you how to navigate the course and give you some tips to help you succeed. Before we begin, notice the Announcements tab in the sidebar. Check this link every couple of days. This is where you will find announcements from your facilitators. Review the orientation area before you begin the levels in the course. The content in this area will provide you a basic orientation to the course. In this section, you will find answers to your accessibility questions, the course syllabus, and other resources. If the title is underlined like you see here, click on it to view the content. You may view the content by either using the table of contents here or by clicking through the pages here. If the table of contents is large and gets in your way, you can close it like this. Once you have reviewed the content within the Start Here link, access the course by clicking on the Levels link. There are four levels to this course, but you will only be able to view and access Level 1 until you have completed this level successfully. Then Level 2 will be visible. After you've successfully completed Level 2, Level 3 will be visible, and so on. Let's begin by clicking on Level 1. Level 1 is broken down into two sections, whole numbers and negative numbers, followed by the challenge. The challenge is at the bottom of the page. You may need to scroll down to see it. You are not required to do the activities to take the challenge. If you are confident, you can pass the level without watching the videos, reading the text, or completing the practice exercise, then go ahead and try the challenge. Note, you must pass the challenge with an 80% or higher in order to move on to the next level. If you do not answer 80% of the questions, go back and explore the videos, conquer the practice exercises, and master the skills. Then take the challenge. Don't worry, you can watch the videos and take the challenge as many times as necessary to move on to the next level. For the purpose of this presentation, let's assume that you decide to watch the videos and work on the exercises before you try the challenge. Click on the link for whole numbers and I will show you how to navigate this section. The first item you see will be the text to help you with this section. You may access this information by clicking on the link to view the online text or downloading the PDF version. So you don't lose your place in the course, the online text will open in a new window. After you've read the material, complete the exercises at the end of the lesson with pencil and paper. You may check your solutions like this to be sure you have the right answer. Don't use a calculator. It will only hurt you when you are required to work exercises in the classroom or on tests that do not permit the use of a calculator. When you are done, simply close the window. You may also view the material by watching the videos. Click on the videos to watch them directly within the course close them like this. Then work on your skills by clicking on the practice links. Once you feel you have mastered the practice exercises, move on to the next video. When you reach a checkpoint, check your knowledge by answering the questions. If you score 100%, move on to the next videos or readings. If not, you may want to watch the videos and try the checkpoints again. The mechanics of the checkpoints and challenges are the same. First, click to launch the checkpoint or challenge. Work the problems and submit your answers. Notice that you have a button to save all answers. This button is available in case you get interrupted and need to exit the program. The save and submit button means you are finished answering the questions. Click OK to see your results. If you missed a couple, you can try again or you may continue. The section on whole numbers has another checkpoint. It works like the last 
checkpoint. When you have finished the section, there is a link to take you to the next section where you will discover more readings, videos, exercises, and other checkpoints. At the end of this section, you will find the challenge. Completing this challenge with a score of 80% will move you on to the next section. You have unlimited attempts to take the challenges. You may also go back and review the materials before you retake the challenge. Until you score an 80% or more, you will be unable to move on to the next level. Once you have successfully completed the first level, scroll down and you will find a link where you can retrieve your badge. Collect your badge and then click the link to move on to level 2. After you have finished level 2, level 3 will appear. Finish level 3 and level 4 will appear. After you have completed all four levels, a certificate will appear at the end of the fourth level. Click on the certificate, download it, and fill in your name. Congratulations on completing the course.